is ordered through the aggregators the cost that the aggregator takes from you uh, in many cases is more than the actual cost for you to deliver so i think that it's a very simple math based on that hello and welcome to travel down we are joined today by mr kabir suri co-founder and director of azure hospitality he's also the vice president and managing committee member of nra azure hospitality has developed and manages brands such as mama goto dhaba sly granny sly granny cafe and fox trot welcome mr suri thank you for having me home deliveries have become a mainstay of most restaurants at the moment what sort of role is home delivery playing in showing up restaurants and helping them cope with the pandemic induced uh, disruptions that we've been facing you could just give your opinion so i think you know home delivery is a business that obviously you know in 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 india in the current covid 1 and covid 2 has obviously exploded in respect to you know options available and a lot of Uh, brick and mortar restaurants obviously getting into it as well but delivery as a business globally has been rising um and hence we've seen you know the 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 birth of cloud kitchens and you know sort of multiple brands from one kitchen uh so that phenomena is obviously getting accelerated within india uh it is quite visible <clears throat> and uh, has further got accelerated obviously due to covid so is home delivery is here to stay yes it is there have been continued conversations about the need or to order directly from restaurants what are the conflicts that restaurants have dealt with delivery platforms so you know what's fundamentally happened is that in the earlier days prior to you know the 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 when before we had the you know sort of marketplaces or aggregators <clears throat> restaurants used to deliver as well you know so people used to call from a phone place an order or send a driver or send some family member or someone from the house uh, or come themselves and do a take away uh i think what has happened now is that uh pre covid one uh you know delivery was not delivery delivery focused brands obviously only did delivery but restaurants did not focus on delivery they focused on giving an experience to the customer within their four walls uh what covid has forced people to do and you know obviously pivot their businesses in different ways is that obviously given the lockdowns and the various restrictions that were placed by the government in different cities and states of india uh restaurants had no choice uh in order for them to uh, you know try and sort of stay alive or employ people or generate revenue um because they were not allowed to operate in dining they you know some people you know shifted towards delivery now an in dining restaurant getting into delivery has its own challenges what are those challenges the challenges are fundamentally kitchens are structured in a manner which were uh, you know structured for in dining not for delivery but a lot of people have had to adapt themselves and restructure their kitchens or premises within their space so that they could service both that's one second is uh, the dependency on aggregators and marketplaces to be able to showcase the product a and second obviously being a dining restaurant you never had a delivery fleet right uh you might have had that one or two person service guy that was delivering the food if the in dining sort of business was lower than normal or the customer would come and pick it up but given covid uh, you know customers were obviously restricted um uh, and you know the restaurant business had to either hire new staff members to be able to do this job a or they had to use their own staff to do the delivery bit which is what a lot of people were doing um and then c is obviously work with the aggregators and the marketplaces to facilitate transactions through their portals uh the issue that is arising between the aggregators and the restaurants in general is that you know there is a cost to doing delivery uh the way the aggregators charge uh, um the cost matrix uh doesn't really work for many uh the reason it doesn't work for many is because the structuring done by the aggregators is done based on a certain percentage of revenue uh, versus the actual cost of doing a delivery is based on a certain cost per delivery uh per transaction what that means is for example it should cost me cost of manpower cost of bike maintenance and cost of doing the actual transaction is not more than 50 60 rupees 
Uh, however, the aggregators charge you a percentage, so it's anywhere between you know 17% all the way up to you know 25 to 30. Uh, the defense from the aggregator side in respect to this phenomena is that you know the APT, which is the average price per transaction. What they say is when the average price per transaction is low, which is like let's assume it's 200 rupees or 300 rupees, uh, the cost metrics is very different. Basis, you know, the the, the flat math that I just mentioned. So they try to take that and average it out, which at times doesn't work for everyone because a higher AOV brand or higher APT brand, that's APTs, you know, hovering between 800 to 1,000. If you charge a 20% margin uh, from a, as a delivery cost and a facilitation cost, that's almost 200 rupees versus the actual cost is 60, 70, 50 rupees. You know, so that's where the debate and fight, not fight, but that's where the debate is. So I think that is basically the uh, current uh, dilemma of the food operators on ground. Uh, however, I think you know we are trying to engage and talk to the various uh, aggregators and marketplaces to see how this can be resolved. I think very recently, I think Swiggy had announced that they are doing a test model in Bombay where uh, they would uh, they would not base it on percentage but base it on transaction AOV based on AOV. Why is it important for uh, you know people to order directly from restaurants? And what kind of an impact does it have on your bottom? It's technically cheaper uh, for the restaurants because we save money. Uh, what happens is that when you order through the aggregators, the cost that the aggregator takes from you, uh, in many cases, is more than the actual cost for you to deliver. So I think that it's a very simple math based on that. So coming back to what I was saying earlier. Uh, something that should cost you 60 rupees a transaction is costing you 200 if you go through the aggregator. Uh, so, we at Travel Time have started a new campaign called Straight from Restaurants. Uh, would you like to speak a few words about it for our readers in our social media? Yeah, so I think I think it's a great platform that's been created, and it's obviously you know beneficial for the restaurants and beneficial for the customers and your viewers and your readers. Um, it, it it will assist uh, you know restaurants uh, to facilitate you know direct ordering and also help us in um, a, a, you know to, to 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 obviously get more people on board uh, so that this can become sort of a mini marketplace where this can this can get facilitated so you know it's it's i think it's a good endeavor and you know we're, we're happy to support it thank you mr Sylvia. thanks a lot for your time thank you very much